And for some reason, French fries. I haven't figured that part out why they do that, but hey, makes it taste delicious. Have a good sandwich. Listen up, here's a story about a little guy that lives in the blue world. And all day and all night and everything he sees is just blue. Like him, inside and outside, blue his house with the blue What's going on, YouTube? How you guys doing? So, a little bit of a confession. I haven't shot today's vlog. The reason for that, I've gone in too close. Let's back it up. Okay. The reason for that is I've had an extremely busy day. I couldn't even take the camera around. It was complicated. Let's just leave it at that. So, the case in point is what is today's vlog going to be about? Today's vlog is going to be about cheap eats. Yes, food that basically costs barely almost nothing. Is that, does that make any sense? Well, it will. $1.25 for a shawarma and 50 cents, a little bit less technically, for a tea. No, it's actually even 25. It's not even 50 cents. It's like 25 cents. Well, the conversion is like 30 cents. 30 cents for a tea. So you're basically what I'm suggesting to you guys is dinner for a dollar. What's my math? What is it? 1.25? One, one, 1. A little bit like that. Yeah. Dinner for a dollar and 50 cents. I don't think you can do that anywhere. No, I, I I guarantee you can't pretty much do that anywhere. For a buck, 25 cents, and someone's like, oh, I could get Skittles. You can't get Skittles. Go to the vending machine. They're like, cherry, then they're like twirls. Sometimes it gets stopped, and then you're like, oh, there, there's dinner. Skittles got caught in the little wire. Then you try to tip the vending machine, and then don't do that, because that's some craziness. Then they have that little sign that says, please don't tip it, because it might fall on you, and you will die. So hopefully, without getting killed, I'm going to take you guys and go do that. And you're probably wondering, why am I doing that? Well, I haven't eaten dinner. And this is a win-win for both of us because I'm going to get the chance to eat and then you guys are just going to, you know, come along and it's material that you might find interesting. All right, guys, I'm in Pocket Rocket. What is Pocket Rocket? Pocket Rocket is a small, tiny car that gets the job done. However, I look like I'm in a horror film because you just see my face. So let me get you guys up to date. Right now, because I was driving, I couldn't turn the camera on, but right now I'm sitting in my car, right? Simple. Guy came up to the car. Can I reverse and show them? No, I can't. Maybe I can go out and show it to you guys a little bit later, but, oh, you can see it at the corner. See, follow my finger right there. So that restaurant over there, it's called Antar. Antar, what does Antar mean? Okay, so my sister doesn't know what Antar means. <laughs> Nobody knows what it means. But the point of the matter is, is that guy walked up to the car, asked us what we wanted. I said two chicken shawarmas. I didn't say one. I mean, I know I said a dollar twenty-five cents, but guys, I'm really hungry, so I ordered two. So that's two bucks fifty. Two dollars and fifty cents, two sandwiches. Pret a manger would crap themselves if they heard that somebody was get, eating a sandwich for that much. Matter of fact, I think McDonald's would crap themselves. They'd be like, that's not even on the dollar menu. So, uh, I'll wait for the sandwiches to arrive and you can watch me eat. <laughs> okay, so food has just arrived. Let us observe said sandwich. We gotta be careful I don't get anything on the camera. Here's the packaging. Pretty, pretty decent size. <laughs> Better not fall asleep because that's what's happening as I'm actively doing this. Unwrap the sandwich. Pita bread, chicken, tahini, tomatoes, and for some reason french fries. I haven't figured that part out why they do that, but hey, makes it taste delicious. Well, if you guys can see inside the sandwich, right? Let's see, hold on. Auto focus. Auto. It ain't auto focusing. Well. Yeah. So yeah, all right. Seriously guys, I gotta go. I'm gonna eat. All righty guys. After stuffing my face with two shawarmas, that's $2.50. Woo woo. Tim Hortons, I'm not going to Tim's. <laughs> Tim doesn't got nothing on this next place I'm taking you. This next place guys, I'm telling you, tea 
for a dollar? No. T for 50 cents? No. It's T for 30 cents. Eat your heart out, Starbucks. What a way to screw the consumer. No, I'm just kidding. Starbucks, oh shit, and move it in fast speed and gear. Oh shit, I'm doing illegal driving. Sorry, says are you all right? She's okay. She's nodding her head, folks. She's okay. So back to what I was saying about cheap eats. Now I want to tell you guys a story about when I was living in New York um, as as broke actors. It's a really funny story. So there was my friend Andrew and my friend Paul, and one day we get out of acting school. And at that time, we had amongst amongst us maybe like a total of twenty bucks. That's three people had a total of twenty dollars. And we had left class, we were starving, we didn't know where we were going. And right in the heart of Times Square, I think it was on Broadway or on 7th. If you go, if right before you hit 42nd Street, there's a Chinese buffet, all you can eat. And I think when we pool, it might have been 20 bucks, when we all put our money together, we all basically were able to eat at the buffet. And it was a Chinese all you can eat buffet, right? Now the funny thing is, is that I remember specifically looking at the buffet, and it was a beautiful spread. All this food, General Tsiao chicken, and, and basically that's, that's all we focused on. We looked at the meats, and we said we're not going to look at anything else, focus on protein, and that's it. And that's pretty much what we did. We, we piranhaed it, we're like we walked around, we had eight plates. At one point, I'm not going to say who, it wasn't me though. Someone just starts bawling, crying because they're so happy to eat. It was it was rough stuff. That's the life of the actor. I mean, it was it was pretty bad. However, best time ever. <laughs> I remember when we finished eating, we walked out completely unsatisfied with the fact that we felt like we were going to throw up, but satisfied that we had eaten. It was a, it was a great time. So these kinds of places are actually reminiscent for me. It reminds me of. Uh, it reminds me of, of actually being back in New York, trying to find food that's really inexpensive, and, and that's kind of like an homage to that. So, so it was nice. Food was great, though. I'll, I'll be honest with you. If you guys ever have a chance to come to Dubai and uh, go grab a shawarma, Antar on a Wassel Road. Good stuff. They are not paying me, by the way. Ooh, the camera's moving. But yes, to, to answer your question, they are not paying me. I just like their sandwich, so I'm highly recommending them. Um, they're close to J3 Mall. It's probably close opposite to the Jumeirah Beach Hotel. Uh, go check them out because I, I guarantee, well, I don't guarantee, but nine times out of 10, you're gonna get a pretty decent shawarma. Okay, dude. Got brownies, dude. Uh, so guys, this here is the fair and lovely tea. Comes in a styrofoam cup, and I don't know if you can see that. Bring it down. Can you see the, the tea? It's made, it's made with milk. It's actually really good stuff. Fifty, not even fifty cents. I don't know why I keep saying fifty cents. It's a thirty-three cents, and I think our man is coming back. So, with that being said, hold on a second. Oh, you both have your bag. Thanks, thanks. So the name. Is the name of this place uh, I don't even know how to say it but I'll tell you guys exactly where it's located it is next to us walk um, grocery store uh, near the pink mosque opposite Jumeirah Beach Hotel I have actually no idea how you just if one of you ever show up to Dubai you can be like Johnson where is it I'll just take you <laughs> we'll grab tea together so guys now this is getting cold hold on Ooh, that's good stuff. All right, I'm gonna enjoy my tea. My sister's gotta enjoy her tea. She's camera lady, sister's representing. All right, take care guys. And I think this is a perfect area to end the vlog. Have a good night, good day.